Hello, I just thought I'd share my experience of antivirus XP 2010. All I was doing was surfing Google. I wasn't surfing porn, I wasn't downloading any files. I was specifically looking for how to detect clone files. So all I was doing was surfing Google and not opening each window. I was opening um, a new tab through Internet Explorer. So if I came across a link that looked interesting, I'd click open in a separate tab. So I had about five tabs open that were yet to be read. And then suddenly, bang, up popped antivirus XP 2010 with dire security warnings everywhere. Now, my security for my XP Service Pack 3, and it's a genuine copy, it's on a Dell, has Microsoft Security Essentials loaded, and they are all up to date. It's updated daily, and I also have Microsoft Firewall. As soon as I got this thing I knew it looked dodgy I just thought uh oh what's going on here I ran a scan immediately and it was a full scan full scan took about I honestly can't remember say half an hour to an hour and can you see that scan complete it says scan complete that is 523,929 items scanned. No threats were detected on your computer during your scan. So this is Microsoft Security Essentials. Doesn't even pick up Antivirus XP 2010, which is a nasty little program. So it constantly tells you. Well, first of all, what's to notice is that it's always on top. You can never diminish it. You can close it, but then it just keeps on popping back up. It's continually popping up. And also, whenever you open another program, it is always on top, no matter what. Always prompting you to register, which of course involves you giving this bogus, nasty, nasty people money and your credit card details. Now, what you probably see straight away is current PC status infected because it opens up this scan and it scans your computer and it says oh my god look at it you're infected 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 which you are but you're infected by this nasty little program and what I find absolutely astonishing absolutely astonishing is well, I'm just going to close down Microsoft Security Essentials because that is obviously doing absolutely nothing there you go Microsoft Security Essentials just scan, scan complete, no threats. Unbelievable. You go to um, control panel. Now, you try and click on the firewall, and this nasty program has even taken over that. You cannot open the Windows firewall. All it opens is antivirus XP 2010 firewall now it's saying um, it's on okay you go to the security center in where are we security center and that is telling you the Microsoft security center is telling you the firewall is off but as I say you cannot no matter what you try and do, go into Windows Firewall because it just keeps on coming up. It's completely taken over your system. And as I say, I have, I'm have i up to date, completely up to date with Windows updates. And I have Microsoft Security Essentials and I had my Windows Firewall turned on. Um, another little interesting thing is you go to say open anti-malware bytes which I run once a week and it will not allow you to do it you cannot open malware bytes it just keeps on coming up with security threat you are 
about to, I don't know, going to meltdown. Buy our product, buy our product. You cannot, it will not allow you open any security packages, but I must admit, it did let me open, or Security Essentials, Microsoft Security Essentials did open, but for what good it did, because it didn't detect it. Fantastic there, Mr. Microsoft. Um, and then you try and go onto the internet, and whoa, more! You are, you are infected, you are infected, you are infected, you are infected. By our program. So, there's my, I'm going to try and get rid of this thing now, which, thank goodness I've got another computer so I can um, find other people's help and advice online, and I will hopefully do it, but Microsoft Security Essentials, Microsoft Firewall, absolutely no good whatsoever. And as I say, I was just surfing the internet, I was not downloading a thing, and my computer has been corrupted, taken over. Good luck with anyone else who's got the same problems, and um, goodbye.